Hi guys and welcome. In today's session, we are going to look at Helm, which is a tool that streamlines installing and managing Kubernetes application. But before we begin, if you are new to this channel, do consider subscribing as we upload new videos on leading technologies every day. Also, hit the like button and if you are looking for online certification on DevOps, check out the links in the description below. So, let's start by looking at our agenda. These are what is Helm and what is a Helm chart, the use of Helm and when you should use it, the structure of Helm chart and lastly, we'll create a Helm chart and deploy a service on Kubernetes. So stick till the end to see what we can do in Kubernetes using Helm. So let's talk about what is Helm. You can think of these three points when trying to understand Helm. First, it is a package manager. Second, it deploys charts. And third, it reduces complexities. But what does that mean? Let's talk about these points one by one. First, Helm is like a package manager, but for Kubernetes. If you're familiar with installing via terminal in Linux, you can think of Helm as yum or snap, which helps you install packages. Helm does the same thing but with Kubernetes. Second, it deploys charts. So the charts or Helm charts are nothing more than a packaging format used by Helm. The chart is a file collection describing a set of Kubernetes resources. These Helm charts help you define, install, or upgrade your Kubernetes apps with ease. And lastly, Helm is meant to reduce complexities and chances of duplications. As the chart structure helps developer deploy apps faster without much coding, Helm provides structured way to manage Kubernetes applications with ease. Now, let's look at what is a Helm chart. To understand this, you must understand that Helm chart is a package. These packages contain YAML files that contain configuration and other necessary details for the application. These package file or chart are then used by Helm and then deployed on Kubernetes. This install or uninstall process is simplified using Helm. Thus, it makes deployments and management of applications easier. So, why is Helm used and when to use it? First, let's look at this key point. Even to make a simple deployment in Kubernetes, you need a minimum of three YML files. Creating these files from scratch can be boring and time consuming. After you do this, you can make your deployment. And this is the same even if it is a very simple deployment. This is what Helm solves and why it is used to manage applications in Kubernetes. Once you install Helm and have it configured, you can install production ready applications from software vendors such as MongoDB, or MySQL with just one simple Helm install command. On top of it, if you ever need to remove installed applications, it is as easy as installing. Coming to the point about why Helm is used, it offers significant advantages. First, it simplifies deployments and the process becomes seamless. It is easy using Helm charts to set override defaults in the values.yml file, allowing software vendors or admins of chart to define the base setting, which is optimal for proper functioning. Second, it reduces complexity or duplication. Once the chart is built, it can be used over and over again. The fact that one can use the same chart for any environment reduces complexity of creating something for development testing and then for production. It boosts productivity. Software engineers are good at writing software and the best use of their time is in writing software. Helm make it possible to deploy softwares with single click and saves time and boosts productivity. And it smooths the Kubernetes learning curve. It is not a big surprise that learning for Kubernetes and containers is long. With Helm, this is simplified and allows developers to not require understanding every single aspect of Kubernetes objects. 
Now, let's talk about when to use Helm. Although from a high level, both Helm and Kubernetes operators do the same thing, you can think of using Helm for simpler deployments. The reason being is that as your team size grows and the project scales up, you might need direct control over your custom applications. Thus, many people agree to not using Helm for custom configurations. When working in an enterprise level, using Helm might make things more complex and hard to navigate through. But to make things clear, Helm can be used even with complex applications. It is just that sometimes it is preferred and sometimes it is not preferred. Now, let's look at the chart structure. You can create a chart in your terminal by writing Helm create followed by the name of your chart. After creating the chart, you will end up with a list of files in the directory of the chart name you provide. Here, we will be talking about three main things which are the chart.yml file, the templates directory and the values.yml file. So, let's look at these. The chart.yml file is a metadata file. This file contains information about the chart including version and other such details. The values.yml is the default configuration file. This can be thought of as the heart of Helm containing necessary configuration details for the chart that you create and the template folder. This folder usually has a service.yml and deployment.yml. This folder contains the templates which are combined with values files and creates a valid Kubernetes manifest file. We will see all of this in the demo shortly. So let's dive right into the demo. And here we will install Helm first and then create our chart. After doing that, we will make a simple deployment using Helm install. So here I have my master and worker node set up and all I'll do is SSH into my session. So here I have Kubernetes installed and configured. I can verify that using kubectl. As you can see, we are in the ready status and my worker node is connected and the master is the control plane. So here, the first step that we need to do is install Helm. You can find out the details by typing into your browser Helm install and that will take you to the main page. As you can see, on this page, you can find how you can install Helm in your operating system. Since I'm using Ubuntu, I can use either these commands, which are from here, or I can use the snap. Now, I'll be using this command because it's just one single command and paste it into my master node. Now that Helm is installed, I can go ahead and create a chart. I do this by typing helm create followed by the name of my chart which I'll say demo and as you can see we have created so as you can see here this directory was created right about now so now I'll just type in tree demo to see the directory so it looks like I don't have the tree installed so let's fix this So now that I have tree installed, I'll go ahead and then type tree demo. So as you can see, this looks very familiar with the chart structure that we talked about before. Here we have the chart.yml file. We have the templates directory containing the deployment service and other YML files. And then we have the values.yml file. So the objective of this demo is to create a very simple deployment and what we are going to do is launch an nginx service. So here what I'll do first is that I will edit the values.yml file and to do that what I'll type is vi demo and then values.yml. So this is a basic configuration. Here what I'll do as you can see here I have my nginx and all I need to do is configure it so that I can deploy it on my Kubernetes. So I'll make some basic configuration changes and later on I'll deploy it. 
To do that, I'll make some changes right here. And then I'll provide some override values. Next, I'll make it the type node port because I want this to be accessible. And now I'll go ahead and save all these changes. Now that it is done, all I need to do to launch this is type in helm install demo followed by the name of my chart which I provided and then I'll provide it with my directory including the values.yml file. And with that we get a confirmation saying it has been deployed. So what I need to do is type in these three commands to get the port number. So here I get the port number that is 30563 and if I am able to curl this it means that we should be successful. So as you can see we get a response from our nginx that we just deployed. We can again verify this by going to my browser and typing in my external IP address followed by the port name. And as you can see our nginx server was successfully deployed. In this way you can launch applications using helm in your kubernetes clusters. This was just a simple demonstration but even complex apps can be deployed using the same process. So feel free to experiment and do the same process or maybe make some changes and try to figure out how things work in kubernetes. Thanks for watching and have a great day. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!